here again. And this time I'm going to scale the effects, and I'm just going to take that down uh, till it's um, flat for this this one here. I'm going to go ahead and scale this in a little bit more, about like so. Alrighty, and that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and start naming these layers, and I'll just name this body. Now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, again, hit control uh, and uh, edit that object a little bit uh, to create this shape here, as you can see. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the inner shadow. Um, on Actually, I'll leave it on there, but I'm just going to decrease the opacity almost like a layering effect going backwards. And I'll go ahead and click on this one here again, and on the inner shadow, just decrease it a little bit more. Alright, and then, of course, the actual bevel of it, and hit OK. Alright, and that's looking pretty good. Alright, and then I'm going to name this uh, right here, um, Body Forward. Or I'll just name it body 2 to uh, make it a little bit easier. And then I'll name this one face. Alright, let's go ahead and use our elliptical tool again. And this time we're going to go ahead and... We're going to make a little selection like so. And we're going to hit delete. Right, and then we're going to bring it over to this side and do the same thing. Hit delete. Now once we've done that, we're going to create a new layer and just name this I Fill. All right, and then we're going to make the selection here again about like so. I'm going to pick a basic color that we like, and I happen to know I want this to be, let's go with a green color for this. All right, and I'm just going to fill that right there. And you'll see it starts to look almost like as if it's beveled, but re in reality it's not at all. It's just because this face has the um, inner shadow on it along with the inner glow and the bevel and emboss is the main point there. Um, so let's go ahead and select that eye fill. And let's do a uh, bevel and emboss. We'll go ahead and up that size a little bit. Go ahead and... Uh, check out some of the different uh, contours that we can get and uh, I kind of like this one here so I'll go ahead and hit contours again and we can again select uh, some more contours if we want or we can just leave it alone and get rid of it uh, but I kind of like it like so I'm then going to fill it with a satin and I'll just leave black make the opacity and again, just uh, a lot of this is just going to be playing around with different, uh, um, you know, contours of stuff. And we're going to go ahead and do an inner shadow. And again, mess around with the contours a little bit until we get the look that we're looking for. And then we'll do an inner glow and make that white. Sorry about that. Make that white. Go ahead and up that size a little bit. And then down the opacity a little bit. Alright, bevel and emboss once again. And we're just going to make that a little bit bigger. Like so. And as you can see there, that almost looks kind of like a gel effect. Uh, which is nice. And I'll go ahead and say that that for right now is done anyway. I'm going to go ahead and go back to our face layer here, and I'm going to drop these down to about here, and then I'm going to grab this lighter silver color and fill that, and I'll go ahead and set that to overlay, and then I'll drop that opacity down some. I just want it to barely be showing, as you can see here, and then I'll go ahead and select the eyes select this layer and hit delete and before I do that actually let's go ahead and do this again like that that way we just keep the shadow of the eyes and we could actually up that all the way again doing image adjustments and brightness and contrast and just darken that up to the point that we need it which would be about right there. 
and this is starting to look pretty good. Um, this lesson is starting to get a little bit long, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and save this Photoshop in my Photoshop folder right here. And you can see I have some other bugs done. We're just going to name this DVD underscore bug. And um, I'll see you guys in lesson two, and we'll continue to tweak this guy out.